Okay guys, there is some news today as a lot has happened yesterday. First of all, DJI has released a new version of the DJI Fly app. It's version 190, which brings some really cool features that we're going to look at in a moment. On the other hand, DJI introduced the Mini 3 to the market yesterday. As expected, this drone will replace our beloved Mini 2. Accordingly, it is cheaper than the Mini 3, but more expensive than the Mini 2. The price is $559 on the US market and 579 euro on the European market, which is around 20% more expensive in comparison to our Mini 2. So, but what are the differences to the Mini 3 Pro? First of all, as we already guessed, the forward and the backward sensors are missing. Then, video can only be recorded with a maximum of 30 frames per second. And the maximum image size is limited to 12 megapixels. Otherwise, there are also a few minor adjustments, such as GPS system, slow motion functions, video formats, color modes, video transmission system, antennas, maximum descent speed, maximum flight time, maximum transmission distance, and so on and so on, which you can find on the DJI website in detail. So check it out. I put you the link in the description. Okay, now as promised, let's check out the new version of the DJI Fly app. There are some pretty cool changes here that were really wanted by the community. So DJI listened to the customer. First of all, of course, the integration of the DJI 3 so that it can also be used fully functionally with the app. This includes for sure the use of the two controllers, the RC one controller and the RC controller. Second, the waypoint function. We are more or less familiar with the possibility of giving the drone a route before takeoff, especially from the hyperlapse function. But DJI is now expanding the functionality of the waypoints in the app for all, attention, Mavic 3 series. That includes for sure the Mavic 3 Cine and the Mavic 3 Classic drones. But only these ones with the minis you will not receive the waypoint function. In order to use this feature, the drone must be updated with the latest firmware. So take care of this. It's firmware 01 zero zero one zero 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 anyway i will put the information also in the description below third the dgi fly app now supports the use of offline maps this means that map sections can be saved locally in the app or on the controller this is a huge huge benefit if you are planning to take off in a region where you already know you won't have internet coverage. From now on, you can simply view, prepare and download the relevant region at home. If you use the DJI RC controller, it's also necessary. You should first update it with the latest firmware version. This is 01020200 and also will put this into the description. So make sure you have updated your controller. Well, then let's take a look at the DJI Fly app. In the lower area, we find the menu item Profile. At the bottom right, we see the new offline maps item. If we click on it, the map will open. There is a larger white box. This displays a snippet to download. Directly below you can see the corresponding file size of the section. Let's now choose our planned flight area. When we find what we are looking for, we click download, give the file name and then the download begins. If we click on the downloads menu item at the top, we will be shown all the content 
that we have already downloaded and all the content that we are currently downloading. Pretty easy, isn't it? If you like the channel, then subscribe it, smash the like button and drop me a comment and tell me what you think of the new version of the DJI Fly app and for sure what you think of the new version of the DJI Mini 3. Let me know what you think. Cheers and beers. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you soon.